Every year since 1959, Fremont High School has produced a musical for the entire town to see. Hundreds of family members, students, and even visitors come to watch the production of musical classics, whether it be last year's production of The Music Man or their production of Bye Bye Birdie two years ago. But unlike the last few years where it settled on the average neighborhood, this year they are taking a turn into the unordinary hillbilly south of Dogpatch, USA, in Little Abner, a musical based upon the comic strips by Al Cap. Uh, it is a satire, uh, really kind of politically minded, about a small town that has been deemed unnecessary called Dogpatch USA. The people in town have been told that the town is unnecessary and therefore they're going to use the town to uh, test the atomic bomb. They're going to plan on dropping bombs on the town because there's no other use for it until they find out about this Yoakum Berry tonic that makes the characters go from being scrawny and weak to like the perfect build smart, intelligent, good teeth, everything. So the government has decided they're going to buy it and save the town. The story sort of evolves from there. About 200 people helped to make the musical come to life, including all 70 students in the Fremont High Varsity Choir who form the entire cast of Little Abner. There are also a variety of other students and volunteers who do everything behind the curtains, from setting up sets for scenes to working on the lights and sounds, as well as a 25-piece orchestra group in the stage pit. We, uh, we begin rehearsals early in January, so um, about nine weeks or so of rehearsals var of various uh, responsibilities. We rehearse every day, Monday through Friday, at 7 o'clock. Each student has their own part in the musical, whether it would be a main role or a background townsperson. But it's not just memorizing lines or music lyrics that the students are tasked throughout the large production. We have many committees that help this musical kind of get going. There's set, there's costumes, there's makeup, but I'm involved in publicity. I am on set crew, so I've been working to try to like dig things out, whether it be props or paint or build a set piece here and there. Like, I just kind of try to run around and do as much as I can. This isn't a real complicated show in terms of construction. Um, the The interesting part of this one is has, has been really that we've sort of constructed our own things, made our own things. And so our design, uh, our construction is really, is really unique to this show. There are even some students who are student directors, such as Katie Plank, who help out the musical with director Mark Harmon, such as keeping up with attendance and giving out cues for script lines but they also become actual extras for the musical in certain scenes. I help during play practices, and if someone's gone, I read their lines. Um, just generally kind of keeping everything organized for Harmon, uh, helping him just about anything. Like right now, I'm helping send out advertisements and stuff, and sponsorship stuff to help get money for the musical. As the big premiere of their performance draws near, so does the ever-increasing stress of preparing for the big show. But that hasn't stopped some from getting excited for the final product. I think what's really motivates me was because I've always just kind of been in the arts department throughout my entire high school career. And I really just want to work to make the show the best that it can be. Uh, I think there are some times when you get to be a little weary and, and, uh, and you just wear down a little. The, the adrenaline that comes from the performance, though, is, is the kind of thing that, that allows you to... to to drive yourself through, to get yourself through those those moments when things are just <sighs> tiring, you know? It's kind of stressful at the beginning, just learning everything, but the closer you get to the musical, the less stressed you get, honestly, because you kind of get the routine, you get everything memorized, and um, I just think it's less stressful the closer you get because it's easier, it's an everyday thing. Harmon said that for every student working on this musical, that this will bring a lasting impression that will live with them for years to come. Definitely come and see it. It's going to be great. And hopefully with the work between the other cast members, myself and our director, we can just make it the best show we've ever produced. We're having a lot of fun putting these pieces together. I think the possibilities are endless for what this production could look like and what our students could bring to the table. And so I think I would just say to anybody who's watching this, seeing this, who has the opportunity to, to make sure they get tickets and come see that show and support the, the arts at Fremont High because this is a it's a it's a pretty special bunch and they're doing some pretty special things. The show will be held March 17th through the 19th at the Fremont High School Auditorium. Tickets will be on sale for twelve dollars. This has been a Fremont High Rustler Report by Sage Rieger.